welcome back students in this class we are going to discuss about two agricultural schemes such as prime minister kisan samman nidhi and padarshi seva yojana kisan seva yojana so both the schemes are important from the examination point of view let us learn the first one pradhan mantri kisan samman nidhi okay so that is otherwise pib kisan okay so the here it is a new central sector scheme to provide income support to all land holding farmers families in the country to supplement their financial needs for procuring various inputs related to agriculture and allied activities as well as domestic needs so this scheme the pradhan mantri kisan samman nidhi is basically targeting the land holding farmers and their families okay so all the land holding farmers and uh, their families are targeted with this scheme and through this scheme they are provided with uh, financial assistance they are supplemented with uh, the uh, some financial support in order to meet their financial needs such as uh, procuring various inputs for the agricultural purpose as well as to meet their domestic needs okay so funding the land holding farmers and their farm family and allowing and giving them a supplementary assistance to meet their domestic needs as well as their requirements uh, regarding the purchase of inputs and various other uh, uh, inputs uh, for the agricultural purpose okay so it is helping or supplementing the financial needs of farmers for procuring various inputs related to agriculture and allied activities such as domestic needs so this is the target under the scheme the entire financial liability towards transfer of benefit to targeted beneficiaries will be borne by the government of india so here we know that it's a central sector scheme and here the entire financial aspect the entire financial liability regarding the scheme is uh, this scheme is borne by the government of india and the scheme pradhan mantri kisan samman nidhi is an initiative by the government of india in which all farmers will get up to rupees 6000 per year as a minimum income support okay so apart from the other assistances through this scheme all the land holding farmers okay will be given with rupees 6000 per year as a minimum income support so this is basically a supplementary scheme okay supplementing the financial needs of the farmer in order to meet their uh, requirements re related to the agriculture as well as the domestic needs and how uh, what is the amount given for the financial support 6000 rupees per year as a minimum income support and the initiative was announced by piyush goyal during the 2019 interim union budget of the government of india on 1st february 2019 so this scheme was uh, announced during the interim budget presented in 2019 before the election so just before the election 2019 the may election in 2019 there was an interim budget presented by piyush goyal in february and during that budget this scheme pradhan mantri uh, kisan samman nidhi was announced and it is giving extra financial assistance for the farmers all the land holding farmers and the amount is rupees 6000 per year the scheme will cost rupees 75000 crore per annum and it will come in effect from december 2018 so basically uh, the effect of the scheme can be enjoyed from december 2018 and uh, the scheme was introduced in feb 2019 the effect of the scheme can be enjoyed from december 2018 okay so that is the uh, important and the total cost of the scheme is rupees 75000 crore per annum so annually the expenditure of the scheme or the cost incurred for the scheme alone is 75000 crore and rupees 6000 per year will be paid to each eligible farmer in three installments and will be deposited directly to their bank accounts okay so this is how it is been done not the entire amount is given together rather the 6000 is been given in three installments that means 2000 each okay 2000 in each installment in first installment 2000 then again the 2000 and the last installment also 2000 so annually 6000 in three installments and uh, that will be transferred directly to their bank accounts so that is other point so we know that as per the pradhan mantri jan dhan yojana and all the compulsory bank accounts have had been made and because of uh, in this scheme the uh, amount will be transferred directly to the bank account of the farmer 
and under the scheme all land holding farmers family shall be provided the financial benefit of rupees 6000 per annum per family payable in three equal installments of rupees 2000 each in every four months so in a year in every four months the for each installment will be given and each installment will be worth 2000 rupees so annually 6000 each installment 2000 rupees and it is happening in once in every four months okay so every four months the installment amount will be distributed among the farmers and it is directly transferred to their bank account so now let us see the background of the or the history of the scheme the scheme was first conceived and implemented by government of telangana as the ridubandhu scheme where a certain amount is given directly to eligible farmers and the scheme has received accolades from various organization for its successful implementation including world bank so this is basically a borrowed scheme from the government of telangana this scheme was successfully implemented by government of telangana as part of ridubandhu scheme and the success of the scheme became uh, the motivation for the government of india to implement it Uh, country wide okay so it is a borrowed scheme from government of telangana and the scheme uh, when the when the government of telangana was considered the scheme was successfully implemented among the eligible farmers and it got enormous appreciation from various organizations like world bank on 21st february 2019 narendra modi launched the scheme in uttar pradesh gorakhpur uttar pradesh gorakhpur by transferring the first installment of rupees 2000 each to over 1 crore farmers so this is the launch of the scheme okay so we know that the scheme came into effect from december 2018 onwards and the scheme was introduced in the by the piyush goyal in the interim budget presented in 1st of february 2019 and the uh, scheme has been launched by narendra modi government in 2024 uh, february 2019 so all these three uh, dates are important came into effect from 2000, december 2018 introduced in uh, the interim budget feb 2019 uh, feb 1st 2019 and launched by narendra modi uh, in 24 february 2019 and the launching was done in uttar pradesh gorakhpur and how it is been done by transferring the first installment amount the first installment of 2000 to over 1 crore farmers okay so that is the launch of the scheme and now we are moving on to the objectives with a view to augment the income of small and marginal farmers the government has launched a new central sector scheme named pradhan mantri kisan samman nidhi in 2019 so the first objective is to uh, augment the income of ma- small and marginal farmers okay so when we are taking the aims or objectives of the scheme the major objective is to augment or increase the income of the small and marginal farmers and that is the purpose why the scheme was introduced and it is also aimed or it also aims to supplement the financial needs of small and marginal farmers in procuring various inputs to ensure proper health uh, proper crop health and appropriate yields commensurate with the anticipated farm income at the end of each crop cycle so since it said Uh, augmenting the farmers income the small and marginal farmers income it is also supplementing the financial needs of the small and marginal farm- farmers so when the farming is considered there are so many supplementary requirements uh, the regarding the fertilizers regarding the uh, the inputs need for uh, the other inputs required for the cultivation etc so this is providing uh, supplementing the financial needs uh, to the small and marginal farmers in procuring various inputs to ensure proper health and appropriate yield and commensurate with the anticipated farm income at the end of each crop cycle so supplementary assistance to farmers small and marginal farmers to increase their or to augment their income it's an assistance given in the form of uh, the given financially to the farmers to improve their uh, income farm income and this would also protect them from f- falling in the clutches of money lenders for meeting such expenses and ensure their continuance in the farming activity so we know that when some parts of the country is taken for the financial stability of the farmers are under question most of the farmers are financially um, very poor and they are burdened with financial barriers so that will make them to end up with money lenders so for the farming requirement so the, there's a case there's a risk uh, where the farmers can Uh, uh, can approach the money lenders and end up in heavy burden and debt so in order to avoid the risk 
of debt uh, in order to avoid that burden by borrowing the money from money lenders and uh, being in a debt trap in order to avoid that risk the government has initiated this scheme okay the scheme is basically protecting the farmers from falling in the clutches of money lenders for meeting their expenditure so this avoid this prevents the farmers from approaching the money lenders for farming requirements and falling in debt trap okay so that is the other point and what makes a farmer eligible for this uh, scheme or what makes a farmer eligible to receive this 6000 per year as a supplementary financial assistance so as per the Pradhan Mandri uh, Kisan Samman Nidhi scheme, uh, the, its benefits are admissible only to small and marginal farmers with combined land holding up to 2 hectare. So, when it was introduced in 24th February, when it was uh, launched in 24th February 2019, okay. So, when it was launched in 24th February 2019, the financial assistance, supplementary assistance was given only to the farmers, only to the small and marginal farmers with land holding up to 2 hectare, uh, 2 hectare, okay. But later this has been revised. The scheme was later revised with effect from June 1st, 2019 and extended to all farmer families irrespective of the size of land holdings, okay. So initially when the eligibility, the initially when it was launched in 24th February 2019, it was uh, given, the financial assistance was given only to the farmers who have the land holdings of 2 hectares, only to the small and marginal farmers with land holdings of 2 hectares. But later from June 2019, the 1st of June 2019, the scheme has been revised and financial assistance were given irrespective of the size of land holdings. So that is the eligibility. Now, we are going to the previous question which was asked on this uh, area. So, we have discussed that about Pradhan Mandri Kisan Samman Nidhi scheme and the scheme we have uh, the key points what we have discussed is the major objective of the scheme is to provide financial assistance to the farmers or supplementary financial assistance. So, trying to augment the farming income of the farmers by providing them uh, financial support to get them to meet their domestic needs as well as to meet the requirements regarding the agricultural purpose and the how to say amount given to them rupees 6000 per year in three installments okay so 2000 rupees in each installment like that they were given uh, 2000 rupees is given in every four months so three installments in every four months total 6000 per year and the scheme was introduced by Piyush Goyal the finance minister so then finance minister in February 2019 and the scheme was introduced in 1st February 2019 in the budget and it was launched by Narendra Modi in 24th February 2019. The Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi introduced the scheme in uh, 2019. Uh, Feb uh, Feb 24th February 24th February 2019 and the scheme came into effect from December 2018. So, the beneficiary the benefit of the scheme was enjoyed from December 2018 okay and the re revision of the scheme has been done in 1st of June 2019. So, before the revision uh, the scheme was uh, given was giving the financial assistance only for the farmers with land holdings of 2 hectare but later with the revision it is giving the financial assistance to all the farmers re uh, uh, regardless of the land holdings. Okay? So, that is all the summary of the scheme. So, with that let us see the previous equation asked. Which of the following is not part of the Prime Minister Kisan Samman Nidhi scheme as announced on 1st of February 2019? We are given with 4 statements and we have to find which of the statement is not correct. Okay? First one, all farmers having land holdings up to 2 hectares are eligible under the scheme. Second, the scheme will be applicable from 1st April 2019. Three, uh, the government will transfer Rs 6000 per annum to the bank account of eligible beneficiaries and fourth the money will be given in three equal installments of rupees 2000 each okay we are given with four statements so let us see the statements once again first statement all farmers having land holdings up to two hectares are eligible under the scheme yeah we have seen it uh, that when it was announced on 1st February 2019 and when it was launched in 21st February 2019, the scheme was ex um, the scheme was covering only small and marginal farmers with land holdings of 2 hectares and it has revised only in June 2019. So, the first statement is definitely correct. 
And second statement, the scheme will be applicable from 1st April 2019. No, we know that the scheme has been introduced in 1st of February, launched in 24th of February 2019 and came into effect from December 2018. So, the applicability is from December 2018. So, second statement is not correct. Third statement, the government will transfer rupees 6000 per annum to the bank account of eligible beneficiaries. Yeah, the total amount covered under the scheme is rupees 6000 per year. That is 2000 in each installment will be transferred to the bank account of the beneficiary. That statement is also correct. And fourth statement, the money will be given in three equal installments of 2000 each, right? Once in every four months, like that, three installments, the money will be given. So, all out of the four statements, the second statement is wrong. Other than all the other three statements are correct. Here, the answer is, uh, the wrong statement is B. All the other statements are correct, okay? So, this is about the Pradhan Mandri Kisan Samman Nidhi. So, that scheme, okay? Very important from the examination point of view. Moving on to the next scheme that is Pardarshi Kisan Seva Yojana. Okay? So, this is another scheme which was launched in 2014 and rolled out in April 2015 in UP for distribution of hybrid seeds through direct benefit transfer. Okay? So, this is another scheme that is Pardarshi Kisan Seva Yojana and when was it launched? In 2014 and it was uh, rolled out in April 2015 and it is also like the, uh, the Pradhan Mandri Kisan Samman Nidhi, it, is, it has also rolled out in UP. So, how it has been rolled out? By distributing the hybrid seeds through direct benefit transfer. Okay? This is the Pardarshi Kisan Seva Yojana, distribution of the hybrid seeds through direct benefit transfer and it has rolled out in 2015 April in Uttar Pradesh and scheme was launched in 2014 of Sept uh, September of 2014. Okay? So, in this video we discussed about two schemes that is Pradhan Mandri Kisan Samman Nidhi as well as Pardarshi Kisan Seva Yojana. So, both the schemes are very important from the agricultural uh, perspective. This is a part of Indian economic syllabus. So, stay tuned for more videos.